Guidelines for being a good person. But how do we develop a harmonious relationship between husband and wife? The indisputable fact nowadays is a rather high divorce rate. When we can recognize and appreciate the strengths of our spouses, they will also feel that they should better themselves day by day. I once stayed at a teacher, Miss Yang's house, for half a year and have observed some secrets of her harmonious relationship with her husband. I remember whenever Miss Yang or her husband came home, they would habitually say, I am home. The one in the house, no matter what he or she was doing, would instantly stop, come to the door, and greet the other with, Ah, you are home. Please do not overlook this seemingly trivial greeting. When such a greeting is absent, the distance between people will gradually become greater. Many people are so obsessed with what they are doing, showing no expression at all when someone in the family enters the house. The opposite of love is not hatred but indifference. Indifference is more lethal than hatred. When we have hatred emotion, there is still communication of our feelings after throwing a tantrum or scolding, right? But if one party is indifferent to the efforts of the other party, such an attitude would make others feel despair. I remember there was one time that I gave lessons to a group of children. Some parents also accompanied their children in the class. A child sat in between his parents. In that class, I told children that one wholesome thought of ours can make water form beautiful crystals. When we say thank you, I love you to water, its crystals will become very beautiful. But if we say I dislike you, I hate you, the water crystals will become very ugly. Later on, we did an experiment with apples. We placed one apple next to the front door of the classroom and another next to the back door. We praised the one at the front door, but scolded the one at the back door. What does the truth rely on? Verification. It relies on in-person verification. A week later, the apple placed next to the front door looked smoother, whereas the one next to the back door already had a few wrinkles. A friend of mine said, come, you can have the apple that has listened to the scolding. Would you eat it? Does it mean that you swallow all that bad language after you have eaten the apple? We did another experiment with three bowls of cooked rice. We showed gratitude to the first bowl of rice by saying, it is because of you that our bodies are nourished. To the second bowl of rice, we scolded it by saying, Why do you taste so bad? To the third bowl of rice, we completely ignored it without saying anything. One week later, the first bowl of rice was slightly fermented and smelled good. The second bowl of rice had turned black and gave off a bad smell. What about the third bowl of rice? It smelled much worse than the second bowl. Why is it so? Indifference. We had been indifferent to it. My friends, do you think Cold War is more destructive or Hot War? Well, Hot War is less likely to cause cancer in a person. But Cold War is very likely to cause deadly disease because both involved will feel tired and miserable. When I talk to this point, the child's father immediately looked at his wife and stretched his arm to pat her shoulder. I had no idea what he was saying, yet I could tell from his expression that he implied something like, Look, Teacher Tsai is talking about you. On the podium, I was in a cold sweat for him. Then I saw his wife had turned to him and gave him a ferocious glare. I was thinking, Oh my, this man is truly insensitive.
lacking nerve. He has not even deliberated why his wife is giving him the silent treatment. In fact, it is not that difficult to get along with women. I was thinking it must be that his wife had done so much for him, but he had not given her a single acknowledgement or praise. So his wife was often sulking. With prolonged sulking, the Cold War between them became increasingly serious. Therefore, men must keep this phrase in mind. Saying nice words can make someone willing to slave for you. So husbands should acknowledge their wives' efforts more often. For example, when having meals at home, a husband should praise his wife's cooking. The dishes are so delicious. The rice smells so good. How did you cook them? Hearing the praise, your wife might even say, I'll cook one more dish for you. In another scenario, the husband, when almost finishing the meal, commented, How come the dishes taste so awful? Your wife may strike for three days. So we should always gratefully acknowledge what others have done for us. Once Miss Yang's husband got back home, she greeted him at the entrance and said, Ah, you are back. She saw her husband was holding quite a few bags of things. She immediately helped him take the bags and said, It's already great to have you visit, but there is no need to bring so many gifts for me. You see, the way of getting along with your spouse and family, some sense of humor is very important. A wife must also remember, whatever your husband brings home, you must not pick on it. He might have spent a long time to choose those items. It is bad enough for not helping him to bring the items into the house, let alone criticizing him to buy something useless. He would feel his enthusiasm doused by a bucket of cold water. Miss Yang's husband is very good at cooking and brewing tea. Based on my observation, I think his acquired skills are probably attributed by Miss Yang's praises. Whenever Mrs. Yang drank the tea brewed by her husband, she would say, How could someone brew tea as aromatic as this? When eating fruits served by her husband, she would say, This orange is so nicely cut, it tastes so sweet. You see, the more we acknowledge and appreciate other people's efforts, the more worthy they will feel, thus the more they are willing to help us. If today your husband seized a whim to help you wash the dishes, what should you do? If you found out that he had not washed them clean, you must restrain your negative emotion. For instance, among the six dishes he had washed, Perhaps one of them was rather clean. You can take out that particular dish and say to him, Wow, this dish has been washed very clean. The first time when I washed dishes, I did not wash them as clean as you did. Will he wash dishes for you next time? Surely he will, because he has received your acknowledgement. With a bit more inclusiveness and acknowledgement, a husband and his wife will get along very well.